go back a couple of decades, an Audi Audacity was on full show. Its initial supercar, the R8, had only recently debuted. The R10 V12 diesel car took the checkered flag at the 24 hours of autoimmune disease man's. The A8 LW12 galvanized Audi place among large luxury sedans. And in Europe, Audi introduced the Epicurean version of its Q7 SUV. Hopped up by a snarling, turbo diesel 6.0 liter V12 with 500 HP and 738 lbft of force. The Q7 V12 TDI was a literal heavyweight at quite 5,700 pounds and was offered solely to its European customers for the equivalent of concerning $185,000, creating it the foremost high-ticket Audi of its day. Since then, Audi magniloquence has receded somewhat from that waterline. The complete S force out of endurance sport. The R8 could also be superer than ever. However 12-cylinder large luxury sedans just like the AAW12 area unit AN species. The Q7 V12 TDI successor, the SQ7 TDI, has lost 4 cylinders and a piece of force, and at 0.5 the worth. And here we tend to area unit in an exceedingly version of the Q7 that the market hadn't thought of or wished back in 2008. Hopped up by AN engine with common fraction of that mighty diesel displacement and cylinder count, the Q720 T Quattro. Since you in all probability already glanced at the specification panel, you will be stunned as we tend to we, frankly that with simply 252 horsepower and 273 lbft of force from its turbocharged 2.0 liter in line 4. The Q7 2.0T accelerated from 0 to 60 mph in 70 seconds in our testing, a not at all terrible range for a three-row luxury SUV. This might narrow our doable while not the intensive use of metallic element within the second generation Q7 slightly downsized body and redesigned suspension, leading to the loss of many pounds compared with its forerunner. Indeed, at 4776 pounds with a full tank, this Q7 weighed around 0.5 a lot but the Q7 V12 TDI is 309 pounds lighter than our long run Q7 3.0T. That said, the 2.0T DOES and feel that quick all the time. The 8.2 second rolling start figure shows the extent to that downshifting and turbo lag hinder acceleration, thus unless one toggles the shifter into sport mode and or places the vehicle in dynamic mode via the Audi Drive Choose system, sluggishness is sort of inescapable. We tend to found ourselves pushing the pedal to the ground usually, not solely owing to the little engine however additionally as a result of we tend to found the throttle standardization to be lacking in responsiveness, that didn't facilitate our fuel economy. Over the course of its keep, the 2.0T averaged 18 mpg. 4 mpg but the EPA 22 mpg combined rating and only one higher than we e seen in similar driving in an exceedingly Q730 T. However, on our 75 mph main road fuel economy loop, the Q7 2.0 T turned in an exceedingly respectable, 26 mpg performance. 1 mpg higher than the Environmental Protection Agency main road range in a pair of mpg sooner than the Q730TA minimum of the 8-speed transmission system shifts quickly and sharply, notably in sport mode or once shifting manually with the shift lever or the steering wheel paddles and everyone through the reverie. The four-cylinder spins with a sinewy smoothness conterminous with its luxurious host vehicle. The Q7 2.0-ton relatively lower curb weight additionally helps it feel nimble and responsive, ever-changing direction quickly and predictably. However even with its non-mandatory 255-55 or 19 all-season tires a $1,000 upgrade from the quality 18-inch wheels, its lateral grip of 080G was markedly under the 1990s sports car like 090G of our overachieving long-termer. We must always note that our long-run Q7 advantages from the non-mandatory, $4,000 reconciling chassis package adaptive dampers, air springs, and four-wheeled steering and low-profile, 21-inch summer tires, 
none of that area unit out there with the four banger. Even so, the bottom Q7 suspension aptly absorbs bumps and keeps the body from rolling overly. The four-cylinder all-season well vehicle additionally accounts for the Q7 unsatisfactory 186 foot stopping distance from 70 mph, a thumping 31 feet longer than our heavier 3OT despite victimization and equivalent substantial 14 8 inch front and 13 8 inch rear brake discs. The Q7 2.0T non mandatory 20 inch wheels and 285 slash 45 series all season run flat tires would possibly represent a worthy expenditure, particularly considering that they solely value another $800 quite the 19s on this vehicle. Oh, and note, towing enthusiasts, as this one is rated to tug a trailer up to 4,400 pounds.